there is danger coming. We are in dangerous times. The source of this danger is not the failure of this bill on this floor at this time. Nope. This is merely a symptom of the danger that I believe is right in front of us. This is only a symptom of a much deeper issue, a systemic problem. Let me explain. I'm a kid who grew up in poverty, abject poverty in many ways. Uh, there is much worse poverty in America and certainly around the world than I grew up in. I'm talking about the poverty where when you come home and you hit the light switch, there's no light. I'm talking about the kind of poverty that when you had a phone attached to the wall and you picked it up, there's no sound. There are people who lived in worse poverty than I, but that is poverty from my perspective. And I lived in that poverty, and one of the challenging situations of poverty that manifests is hopelessness. And I was that hopeless kid in America, mired in poverty, in a single-parent household, under the impression that the only way I can escape poverty is through athletics or entertainment. I was hopeless. And from seven years old to 14 years old, I drifted. And all drifting leads in the wrong direction. I failed out of high school, embarrassed my mom, who was working 16 hours a day, because I felt like there was no hope in this country for a little black boy like me, 14 years old. Failed Spanish, English, world geography, and civics. Civics, as we all know, is as close as it gets the failing politics. I will say that this body as a whole today is failing civics. 